ask one more question, and then maybe we can invite our friends here also to put some questions to you if it has to be. Uh, in the museum, we have the best collection in the world of Somalian and Tibetan sacred art. These objects, painted tankas or bronzes, have been duly consecrated in the Tibetan tradition before they enter into use. Uh, when one of these objects is not consecrated, to them it's little more than this table. It's just a piece of material object. After the consecration that may take days and weeks to be completed, they believe that the energy of the entity that the object represents lives in that object also. So they communicate through these statues or paintings with the lama or the deity that's represented there. We think if that's the case, or let's say that that's the case as the Tibetans assume it, then in the museum we could have these entities around still the objects that we have and it will be a better place for channeling them? The answer to that question is yes. And the reason why is because I, I put this analogy out there with that. We create our own reality. Okay. I can tell you quite certainly that Santa does not come down my chimney. Yeah. And if somebody does climb down my chimney, we got a problem. Now it's a home invasion. Right? Right? But you ask anybody about the name, they'll tell you the name of Santa, they'll tell you what Santa looks like, you'll find things made up of Santa, you'll find letters written about him, you'll find movies and songs. That energy all together creates a Santa Claus. It may not be physical on our plane, but as a thing, it is created, it is real. So when they make these chants, and they do these uh, ceremonies to instill what they feel is this entity or energy or deity. It is 100% accurate. And that is the energy that that will give off. If you hold on to an object, and it's a peaceful thing for the rest of your life, I can assure you that when they take a picture of that object, they have all this technology, you will see that. You'll see that the glass is on it. So energy is attracted to organic things. Metal holds the best. Uh, this wood, not so good, but um, it does hold things. So we make our own reality. So if they believe it, it is real. And it will give off those things. And you will get that evidence. 